get through it. Uh, I have a, I have a, uh, I don't want to quite call it elevated to the level of a parable, but it's a story in my life that I reference all the time. Right? And I'll share it with you. It's short. I'm in high school. I'm junior in high school. And I'm going to take calculus. Now, if you didn't know, calculus is way different, way more different from algebra than algebra is from arithmetic. Okay? So whatever it took you to get from arithmetic to algebra, what, X? What number is it? Well, it could be any number. How can it be any number? It's in the equation. It's got to be a number. This, these are the transitions from arithmetic to algebra. The transition from algebra to calculus is more. Okay, so that's why it's generally not taught in high school. It's a college thing, and even then you wouldn't necessarily have it. So I'm handed the calculus book, and I open a page in the front cover, and there are these equations. And they're using squiggly lines I had never seen before. Half the Greek alphabet is in there. I said, I don't know what this is. Oh, I don't. And I said, I will never learn this. That's what I said. That's what I felt. I said to this, but I need to know this because the universe is speaking this language. I'm screaming at you. Sorry. The, le the sound level's okay? <laughs> sorry. Okay. All right. the sound. You're excited. This is sorry. good. This is you good. started this. Yes. <laughs> all right. So I said, all right, one step at a time. So after the first week of class, I took a peek, still nothing. After three weeks and a month, I opened up the side of the book and said, hey, I know that equation. I, I used that the other day. That, that's good. I like that. And then as the weeks went on, it was as though this fog began to dissipate. It didn't lift because that implies you now you see and now you, you don't and now you do. It just dissipated. It became more and more transparent. And by month three, month four, every one of these equa equations became my friends. Mm -hmm. I said, I want them. In fact, give me more. And that is my measure of what I need to do if I encounter something which in that moment I do not understand. Is that any worse than you coming upon a book of Mandarin and you don't know any Chinese characters? You say, I don't know any of this. Yeah, except one and a half billion people in the world speak it. So it it's can't be impossible to learn. Mm -hmm. So you put in the time. And slowly some of the characters, oh, that means a human, or that's a home, or that's a food. And all of a sudden the characters start making sense. It's not really any different from that. Mm -hmm. And too many people think that they got to know something instantly in order to ever be good at it. Rather than want to achieve something, realize there are these hurdles, work at it. And every bit of yourself you invest helps to dissipate that fog. Mm -hmm. And... The more badly you want to get there, the more you will work to dissipate that fog. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to me, and I've invoked that ever since. Yeah, and, and then the love with that, too. The more yes. badly you want to get there, and, and you the love. better you gotta, love it, too. you got to yeah. love it. Otherwise, yeah. what's, what's going to keep you going? Yeah. And don't hesitate to ask for help. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know? I've been tutored. That's already like my mother right okay, now. Okay, all right. Ask I've, for some help. Yeah. Okay. I've tutored people in my life in physics and in math. I've been tutored. There is no wealth like knowledge, no poverty like ignorance.